Hey guys, how are you? Hopefully you are all fine. So I welcome all of you at my channel Computer Code. So today I have a topic on Python that I last time we used while loop. So I first of all I open my Sublime Editor and today our topic and first of all I have say loops Python or I just save it on desktop dot py and I save it okay so this will give me address so I today our topic is loops on python today we discuss two types of loop that is one is uh, that is for loop and for each and we see what is the difference between for loop and for each okay so there are, first of all i have discussed uh, two things i uh, discussed more thing uh, one is uh, what is list and uh, second is i discuss, already tell you that is loop so what are loops uh, in the previous lecture i told you one thing i want to repeat is uh, one thing that is contain a repetition in programming we can say loop the thing that contain a repetition we can say a loop this is my personal definition not anywhere written so uh, for your better understanding i just say this okay so that is all that is called a loop so let's suppose uh, in the previous lecture i told you if i want to print my name or anything uh, 10 times so it is not a good programming i wrote that 10 times 10 times but it's good for i use a loop for uh, and tell the value increase this value as the executed for this time that is a loop let's suppose uh, i have a for loop for and uh, i print here a in range range is 10 okay and here i provide a, a is equal to 0 so let me check if it's working and me and not okay so here is a a and i control s it and first of all i have open to my cmd and set color to that is green cls cd desktop and the name of the file is first of all I write python Dead. ok so this will give me error a is in range ok so I move it and control s and re execute it as you see the print it will uh, print it 0 1 to f 9 ok so this is working like this this is our a variable that we declare and in the range we i provide a range you execute this time uh, you execute it this time for this for a better understanding first of all let's suppose i have a, i have a list what is list let's uh, different uh, list, lists are different types let's suppose i have a list of different students different customers so i contain a name list I have a name list and the list is string type so here I print some name Ali uh, Roman any other name that you want and here is also a uh, Roman Ali and just like Sarah's one this is the name of list but if I print it and I control S and re-execute it first of all I run CLS to clean this and re-execute as you see this will print this is the list as the thing ok but if I want print every name but don't use this these thing the brackets and this for that we use a loop because it is more than once value then for that we use a Loop. So for that, here for uh, names in 
and the provide name list. Okay, I set here and print name and I control S it and I remove it. First of all, control S and re execute it. As you see, it will print it here Ali one by one every name. So, this is the way that we work. This is called for each loop. How work for each loop? For each loop, uh, work. this is the name of variable. Here is the variable in uh, that is the keyword that is used in Python and the name list. It will automatically execute and check where is the name list. It will reference here. It will accept and, and reach at the index 0. Where is index 0? If the name written is Ali, it will take Ali, get Ali and set the name is equal to like that. Name is equal to Ali. Uh, just a second. Ali. It will do like this. Once it's print, it will go, it will it will return back to here and check if there are remaining things are available or not. Is available that it will do continue again this this thing. So here is our two loop. There is one method, and the, this is you. This is known as for loop. This is uh, this is known as for each loop that we use, and the second loop I use I discuss already in for loop. So I will discuss for loop. That is also x in range. I just here names. You can write any 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 variable name, and here here I provide a range. Name list dot. Uh, just a second. Uh, what is the method? Name list dot. Size of the. Okay. Let me check. Print names. Okay. I control S and re-execute it. Okay, this will give me error name list. Name list dot. Hopefully, this is method available. Okay. Uh, I use CLS again and re execute it. Okay, okay, the line 3. List object has no attribute size. Okay, so it will know. Okay. Next time we use uh, some other editor that is length. Hopefully, this is working. And if we not, so I will search it. Just a second, I will search it. Okay, so I do something wrong. That is, this is a method, and I pass here name list, and I control S and re-execute it. Okay, this is again same in error. Okay, first of all, I have to remove it, and here I print. name list and control s and re-execute it okay so it will provide me three i do something wrong for that i control z okay not name list okay so control s and i re-execute as you see this will provide me the index 0 1 2 3 so what if I want to see print, print the name, print the variable value. So for that hopefully I use print name list dot length and here I pass name. Hopefully this is working. I use CLS as you see where I pass here the index value that is if the name is the 
value is 3, the length is 3. So name the when name is 0, it will get the name of the at the index 0. It will get the name of index when index value 1. It will also uh, get the value and when the name index is here, it will also do so. For your better understanding, I do this. What if I want to print a value, the last one, that is the last one. So I do name list and here length name list minus one and I control S and see what will what it will print. Okay, so okay, just a second. List is an int. Okay. Okay, so here is another option. Uh, name list. If I control S and re execute it. Okay, the list out of range. Okay, he will say the list is out of range. No, it will not go out of range. So it will provide me the last name. I, if I want the first name, so that is pretty much easy. I pass, I pass here any value index that is in this. So I quickly re execute and you will see it will provide me the first. If I want the middle name, so I will set here this and control S and re execute it. And as you see, you see it will provide me the second name. So the for this way, our for loop is working. Hopefully, you better understand. Uh, subscribe my channel, who person did not subscribe my channel to buy this kind of video. Thank you. Take care.